All right, ladies and gentlemen, the seven star Terra Normal Dragonite Raid is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I'm going to solo this raid with Orbanite. All right, ladies and gentlemen, typically when I do this type of videos, I like to showcase the entire battle. That way you can see how I defeated the raid successfully. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying to use Corviknight, a Corviknight build that was used in previous raids. I think the only thing I switched out was Taunt or Reflect. So at the start of the fight, Dragonite seems to use Rain Dance and Hurricane, which can only target one Pokemon in the field. And it also has a chance to confuse. But as you see, it did not confuse there. And the way I'm going to do this fight is... I'm actually just going to set up three Iron Defenses. And then I'm going to go for... I think maybe one... Screech, and I, what I'll do is I'm going to go for three Iron Defenses, Reflect, just so I can have that defense. Actually, no, I'll go for Screech first, and then I'll use Reflect, and then I'm going to go for Body Presses. Um, I'm hoping this, I, I haven't been able to, this is my, I think, like, third time attempting the raid. And the only reason why I wanted to restart is because I wanted to have a more efficient way to do the beginning of the fight. And I'm kind of just doing this live, so I'm figuring it out as I go. So I wanted to make sure I can just tank the moves early game and then get a little bit of debuffing here on Dragonite with a Screech. But now I want to set up Reflect because there's a chance they're going to remove my defense here soon and then I'm gonna just start going for body presses so I can get a little bit of damage off on Dragonite while also getting closer to my Terra which as of right now I'm not sure if I should Terra fighting in this fight just because of the chance of getting hit by a hurricane but it is you know it is going to be a little bit of RNG and as you see the rain actually disappeared here and without rain on the field, Hurricane, I think, is a 50% accurate move. So I'm just going to get Body Press off. And this may now trigger Dragonite to remove my stats. Let's see if that's what happens. It does have Thunder, which, as you see, has a pretty bad accuracy without rain as well. That's one of the only attacks that is kind of scary for Corviknight as of right now. I mean, without the defense, definitely the extreme speeds start to add up but that's why I wanted to go for reflect there and now I'm getting my iron defenses back and from there I'm just gonna probably go for body presses so two more iron defenses here I'm gonna hit with another extreme speed as long as I don't get crit I should be okay right and Dragonite is poison doesn't really matter I don't know these partners aren't particularly great partners to have but yeah, there it it probably really won't matter. I mean, having it has inner focus, so it can't be intimidated. Um, let's see. Now I'm just gonna go for body presses, like I said, and yeah, I'm just gonna work towards getting to that tariff because as of right now, it does not look as if they are bringing back the rain. So, wow, that's kind of insane. Oh wait, I have to do one more, what am I doing? Excuse me. Let me get one more Iron Defense off. I... I'm not sure how I missed that. <laughs> Got a little ahead of myself. All right, now that I'm at max defense, I guess I may have to consider going for the Terra. That's crazy that I like, barely healed anything back. All right. See how much this does now. I'm at max defense. Will it heal me back more than before? That's kind of crazy. Like, barely. Okay, that's all right, I guess. The crit could be scary. So, you know what? I'm actually going to Terra, mainly because the rain is not on the field. And the Terra will help chunk away here and give me a little bit more of a attack boost as well, which will be very nice. And I'm assuming it will actually give me more health back consequently. Oh, oh wait, actually, this is kind of scary. I might die to the extreme speed. I was just thinking. 
Please live. Oh my gosh. I should have set up Reflect before I did this. That was... I just realized after the fact that I'm losing that resistance now to normal. Very scary stuff. Yeah, that's actually... Whew, that's like not really... That's not doing more than... That's like not really doing anything. That's crazy. Can I live this? A crit's gonna kill me for sure. As long as I don't get crit, I should be able to live. This is insane though. I mean, it's doing a decent amount. I just thought I would be healed back a little bit more than what I'm getting healed. I guess I could go for a reflect and then go for a heal tier. I think I might try that actually. Just because it might help me bulk out here a little bit in the end. Come on, let's get reflect. And then from here, I will heal cheer, which will be the first cheer I've used in the fight. So that's actually still pretty good. Please, come on, come on. Please heal me a decent amount. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, that was not good. That was pitiful. I mean, thankfully, Reflect will let me tank a little bit more here, but I think I'm going to have to go for another heal cheer. Yeah, that's insane. That, like, barely helped. This is scary stuff right now. Okay. This has to at least bring me up, up like, please, to halfway at least. That's still not enough. I think I may have actually put myself in a pickle. Okay, actually, I think I might be able to... As long as Reflect... Yeah, Reflect is still here. Okay, I can go for the body press. Very scary there. Please don't crit me. If it crits me, it's... It's... Okay, thankfully it didn't crit me. Alright, let's go. And they didn't... The Dragonite didn't put Rain back on the field, so that's a good sign that maybe... Body press with Terror Fighting is still a viable strategy for the solo. I imagine in a group scenario, this will be easier just because you can have teammates that can help set up defenses and nullify Dragonite's attack as well. But I think at this point, I'm in a good position to kind of just sweep. Because now I should be able to heal back more than it's doing damage to me. And I think potentially I will break through the shield here on the next attack. Hopefully at least. Let's see. Okay, extreme speed. How much does it do? Okay, yeah, I can... I don't know. It might not be this attack. It's looking pretty close. Let's see. Nice. All right. Perfect. All right. Broke through the shield. And my health is definitely looking a lot better now. So let's see how the rest of this... It has Earthquake, which doesn't really matter since I am a fighting type now. I was thinking upon playing through this that Orthworm might actually be a pretty good option for this fight. Just because... It's pretty much able to take all the hits, for the most part. Draco Meteor. Hits from the special side, but as you can see, it only hits one target on the field. So anytime the Dragonite uses a special attack, like Hurricane, Draco Meteor, and Thunder, it only targets one Pokemon, so that's really good. And I think this is just going to be GG. And if you found this video to be helpful, Definitely hit the like button, it does help my content out a lot here on YouTube. And I will be doing some live streams this weekend, hosting some raids, if I'm not already live at this point when you see this video. But, thanks again, and this will be the final attack, and I'm going to pick a Pokeball to capture this in as well. And bam, yeah, pretty easy, once getting through that first initial phase. So yeah, once it... You pretty much have to set up twice in this fight, and that's like the main thing I would focus on, is making sure you have Reflect. Reflect really did actually be, uh, come in clutch in this fight, so definitely recommend you using that on your uh, battle as well. I'm going to use the level ball, because it, it has some nice energy here, and with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Sasquad's getting stronger each and every day. You have a good morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate the support as always.